So start of the day, breakfast, uh, it's roughly seven o'clock and that's the breakfast. A little bit of multitasking going on, uh, watching some exercise videos and my pancakes are done. Three to eight, uh, clients are already there, so I'm going to be rocket rolling for the next hour or so. Then I need to prepare the logs for for the next group because it's going to be kind of crazy busy. It's kind of four four. It's not going to be too much time in between, and uh, then some massage and my own training. Busy day ahead. So done with the first first group of clients. That's the time on the clock, uh, and, we, and we also we have kind of special treat for them after yesterday promotion. There is uh, plenty of pancakes left, uh, so they're going to have a little bit of treat. Uh, and <laughs> interesting thing was like the blue ones. They don't really look really appetizing, but they're really nice, nice flavor. Um, They've put a lot of blueberries inside, so they're actually on the super healthy side. Amazing coffee is ready to go, ready to rock and roll. I have another 20 minutes to uh, to drink coffee. The logs are ready, everything is set to go. So just we just quick visit from one of the one of the ex clients who just wants to join back. So I kind of lost one minute <laughs> in the set, but I guess it's well worth it. Just a few minutes from the gym, uh, we are going to do some kind of presentation that's actually the last day in the Metronix, so uh, I finally have a little bit of time to make it. So here is where we're going to hustle people. I guess so. Finding out if 
Tom is healthy. Lean and mean. I my does that help? <laughs> Obviously, you're going to be leaner. Please remove the temperature sensor from the holder. Put close to your forehead, then press the button on the sensor. <laughs> he doesn't look like he wants to shoot himself at all. When you have finished viewing your report. Jesus, 75.4 kilos is my ideal weight. If I was 75.4 kilos with this fucking mass, I'd want to kill myself. <laughs> and I, I know that for a fact. So Wednesday evening, uh, it's uh, roughly 15 to 9, really late uh, training time. Let's check some weight and we'll see how it's going to be. I'll talk probably about uh, what's actually going on with the transformation and so on and so on. Uh, later on I will break it a little bit more down. The last week or so I felt I didn't feel too much tired, but I almost like I was not able to recover kind of from training to training. I felt cold all the time. Usually at this point, just from the experience, I know I would usually get sick, some kind of flu or something, but not this time. I was just feeling really cold, really weak. All the muscles were super sore. Last roughly 10 days, I did a little refeed. Uh, the calories were up almost like to my maintenance. It was actually not bad. Well, we'll see what's the scale going to be, but I was eating roughly like uh, 3000 calories still keeping high protein, not eating too much shit, but just plenty of plenty of food and feel much better. So even like today's training should be pretty good. I'll just quickly check the weight and we'll see what's going to be. So, The weight is 80, 85.7, uh, pretty much the same like the last week. I didn't expect it to be. I, I did expect it to be a little bit higher. So even on the let's say back to 3,000 calories, I didn't gain much weight. So that's almost like roughly my maintenance. Uh, it feels pretty good. So in next next two weeks, I want to cut it down. I started to log a little bit uh, big on logging. I'm back calorie wise back to 2,000, and we'll see how it's going to work for me. I'm. The plan is to lose maybe another one to two kgs till my holiday, so in another two, two and a half weeks, if we go on holidays. That's another story. Uh, so let's hit the training. So again, favorite workout, so some carbs, some, some protein. This one is just pure whey protein uh, with water. So what I wanted to talk about is uh, about the weight loss or the lack of it in last uh, last two weeks. Every program you're going, to, you're going to peak out in a certain point. And after that, you're just going to get kind of more and more tired. Uh, the weight, uh, everything will drop down a little bit. and. At the time, at that point, ideally what you would do is either change the program or start to use lighter loads or do less sets, kind of just drop the intensity, volume or frequency. For me, the frequency, so how often do I train? It's only three times three for 30 minutes. That's pretty much fixed. So what I need to do is either drop intensity or volume. I kind of needed to drop probably both. And also with the food, um, this is super important when you are trying to exercise or train on kind of harsh diet or 
when you are low on calories, ideally to build muscle or uh, kind of to get stronger, you need to be you need to have some extra calories. Uh, if you don't, you are kind of balancing. It's it's kind of a little bit almost like on the edge, where you can get a little bit stronger, but the recovery is going to be a little bit. The performance will go down as you eating a little bit less. We are kind of pushing that edge because uh, staying on that edge, you are able to lose. You you are able basically to change your body super quickly and in quite really minimum time investment during the week. But the last week uh, I felt uh, really drained. It was like the fourth final week of my training. The heavy weights, even I was able to do a little bit more, it just didn't feel right. It just, uh, I was really struggling with everything. So what I decided to do is uh, do a little bit of refeed. So I was eating roughly like 3000 calories or a little bit more. Still eating high protein, so it was an only rubbish food. But I uh, allowed myself for a little extra chocolate. Definitely quite a lot of quite a lot of meat, quite a lot of protein, and some good carbs. Kind of combination of all, and I was making roughly 3,000 calories a day. And uh, as you could see earlier on, the weight really didn't go up. It 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 stayed the same. I just didn't lose the weight, uh, but. Energy-wise, what I feel like, I feel amazing. Today's training was really good. I had great pump. Uh, when you, f and this is actually one of the things what I also want to talk. Uh, when you are on diet, you don't really get much pump at all. You, or you, you just feel like you just feel tired. Now after the training, I feel really good. Kind of the muscles, muscles are nice and full, and it feels it feels really amazing. If you are dieting or even like pushing the training, you cannot increase it all the time. Sometimes you're going to get to the point where it's fine to take a little bit of break, take it a little bit easier for a few days or even for the full week, eat a little bit extra. So you're going to get a little bit of weight back. But over the long term, especially if your transformation or your progress is a little bit a long term, at least two or three months, you're going to be progressing way faster afterwards rather than just struggling and going kind of up and down, up and down. It's almost like interval training. You go hard, but then you kind of drop a little bit, go hard, drop a little bit, go hard. Rather than plateau, go hard and then plateau and gradually you're going to stagnate, then you're going to fail because nobody can do it forever. Uh, end of the rant, I'll enjoy my banana, my protein and really good feeling after great training. Just hit a shower. Uh, I need to do some, a little bit of shopping, International Women's Day. So I want to buy something a little bit special for Yana and yeah, good day.